Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I'm going to have another play in my Get Messy Me journal. Um, the prompts are over on Instagram under hashtag Get Messy Me. I'll just lift that up so you can see that, Get Messy Me. And I'm, today I'm going to do number three, happy, because I've done starting, which is just starting the journal, and I've done showing up. Um, I'll leave a link. Oh no, it'll, there'll be a playlist for, for this, so I won't leave a link in the description because there's a playlist if you want to see the previous video and all the rest of the videos that will come along eventually. So, yeah, so happy. So I was thinking for happy, I would just do a nice um, smooshy watercolour background first before I do what's going to represent for me happy. So I've got out my Adirondacks and I looked to see what colours might go nice together for the background and I've chosen cloudy blue which is a nice pale blue and I've chosen butterscotch which sounds delicious, butterscotch and lettuce. And this is making me hungry. <laughs> so, a little smoosh, I think, onto this. Let's just start with the top one. And I'm just going to... So this is all about just being messy and see how things turn out. So a little water bottle and we'll just give that... A spray and then I'm just going to smoosh that on. Oh wow, I'm loving that already. I just oh I should have wiped it on my my messy piece of wrapping paper. That's what I should have done with that. I forgot. Let's do the butterscotch next. I um, don't think you can get these inks anymore. I think another name took over. I think. Cool, right? That doesn't really show up on that anyway, that, um, so let's just wipe it clean because it's not showing up. And the cloudy blue, which might actually be a little too pale for these two colours now that I'm, now that I'm looking at it. We'll see. Oh no, I think it might be alright. Hmm, let's see. Yes, that's better if we just do this direct. Just adds a little fill in the blanks. <laughs> let's just add a little bit more of this direct. Oh, let's put the correct lid on the correct inks or we'll be in a right old guddle. Oh, what do you think I'm like? I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Right, so that's the background. I wonder if we should give it a little squirt with water. I don't think it needs what would happen if we did. Let me just blend a wee bit. Yeah, doesn't really do very much, does it? All I've done is make it wet. Okay, I think we'll leave the background there. Quite handy writing out the ones that you've got so that you can see the the colours that you have. 
Right, now for the background, I wonder if this is dry enough. Take a little bit of the excess water off because I want to stamp, but we might just let it dry a little bit and do some some of the elements first because it is quite wet. It hasn't gone through, that's fine. So we'll leave it aside for the moment up here and I will show you what's going to go on the background and what's happy, what happy means to me. So happy is let me show you first i've got some stamps that have just fallen on the floor here we are so happy for me is home and this is a little house and this says home is where the heart is but i think we'll maybe just use the home bit so I'm going to use those two stamps and my fur baby and I'm going to use this one. So let me show you where this stamp, these two stamps are from Unity Stamps. Um, I used to get a monthly kit of the month and this is from May 2009. <laughs> my goodness. Um, I'm not sure if they even still do these stamp sets, but every month they would send, um, it was a subscription, and you would get a whole stamp set, and this one is from May 2009. You might be able to get them, I'm not sure, but it's Unity, U-N-I-T-Y, they're in America. So I've picked out Home and the Little House for Happy, and this is my fur baby rescue greyhound called Millie and this is hunky dory the dog's biscuits <laughs> yep the dog's biscuits I've had this a long long time I'm going to use this stamp here when it comes to doing that so I'll just set them aside for the moment and on the background to represent my other thing that makes me happy, apart from my hubby, my home and my fur baby, is the craftiness of my craft room. Um, so I've got this stamp, which is a crafty stamp. It's by A All and Create. And it's called... Doesn't have a name. Oh, number 27. So I was thinking maybe putting that in the background somewhere and this because of my love of music and music means a lot. It makes you happy, it makes you sad, it brings back memories. I listen to music in the car, we listen to it here, in the house, at home. Um, I just love all sorts of music. Um, and so this is another all and create and this is number 75 and you get some scenes musical notes where you get uh, my music will tell you more about me than I ever will um, so we're going to put them in the background but I'm thinking I'm going to wait till that dries a bit and in the meantime I think we'll stamp out the elements that I want to use um, it helps if you take the back off. And I'm going to stamp it out onto this vintage um, vintage book page using my Versafine. Versafine Onyx Black. And we'll just give it a bit of a stamp. Perfect. aside and let's do <laughs> same thing home oops good blast of the ink I 
There they are. And last but not least, our little Millie. And if you are considering getting, adding a fur baby to your family, please consider a rescue greyhound because they are just super pets. They are so placid, quiet. If you want a guard dog, it's not for you. But if you want a happy-go-lucky, full of joy, affectionate, lazy, totally lazy dog that will happily walk, but happily aww, stay in its bed. <laughs> So funny. Right, I think that's my three elements that I'm going to collage once I do the background with the other stamps. Now I'm thinking that I'm going to add some colour to these stamps. Okay, I've chosen some of my uh, Real Brush markers by Kuretake, Sig Clean Colour Real Brush Markers. And I've chosen the colours I thought might um, go with the background here. Uh, light brown, olive green and blue grey. I know this is messy, <laughs> messy me, but I still quite like to, that's quite dark. still quite like to be a bit messy without being too messy. I'm not sure about that green, but we'll go with it just now. We'll change it to the pale green on this side. So we just That's not so bad. Let's try the light brown, which is actually a kind of dark orange, to be honest. There. And the grey, blue grey in the middle. That's not so bad. And then we'll just quickly do a little bit there. Doesn't need to be perfect colour, I don't think. It's all about messy. Let's add a little bit of the dark. It's to the edge there. Yeah. Oh, chimney. Mm, burn. There we are. Right, home. Let's do the same colours. A little bit in the middle there. Do the screen. Do the e green. A little bit of grey. I'm not. I'm trying not to think too much. And a little bit of the dark green, just to give that green a little bit of a, a little bit of a lift. That's the palest colour. Right. Put them back. Yeah. And let's. Oh, I think they'll look quite nice. Nice elements for the page. And just give them a rough cut and then we will. Fussy cut. I'm not looking forward to fussy cutting that skinny greyhound, but we'll give it a go. <sighs> so I'm thinking not right up to the edge. It's messy, so we want to try and just keep it a little bit, not deliberately rough and ready, but I think 
just to give it that sort of look and plus I still want to see that it's stamped on um, book page oh perfect so we were in Glasgow this morning and guess what they're filming again this so this time they were filming um, it was like set up as a marketplace in the 70s so there was some old 70s cars there was some old telephone boxes and an old post box there was a van which had fake which was a bit horrible because it had fake blood on it oh I have to say fake blood looks very real but I guess that's the whole point so we asked the security guard because we were the street had been closed to traffic but um, pedestrians could still walk up the, the pavement um, so we asked the security guard like what is it they're filming um, so it's a film called Badlands and it's about um, the troubles in Northern Ireland in the 70s oh that's quite nice isn't it can you see that I'm telling you it's nice and it's probably a there we go you're like what's that? how do we know it's nice we can't see so yeah so they're filming again now how best to tackle this again I don't think we'll go too close we'll just give it a We'll need to look out for that film coming out in a, a while. Probably a, be a wee while yet. They're just filming just now. So, we'll see. So, I've got my Craftaholics. It's the first Saturday of the month tomorrow. So, I have my Craftaholics meeting. It's my meeting up in the hall with the crafty ladies. Um, I'm going to take my gouache paints because I'm ashamed to say I bought a set. Now it must be, oh, it's over a year. It might even be nearly two years. And they are still, I hope they're all right because they're still in the box, untouched by human hand. Terrible always meant to get round to doing it and just never seemed to have the time and I bought a book oh that's kind of cute isn't it we'll need to figure out how we're how we're going to do that maybe put right let me just bring it down instead of reaching over and doing it out of camera right maybe there and there I've got to remember it's still got to get its background so yeah so I'm going to take and I bought a book how to use is it gouache or gouache 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 <laughs> oh, so uh, I'm going to take my book I'm going to take a, a watercolour journal book some page some card paper and this is quite dry and um, yeah, I'm going to have a play for a couple of hours and um, see what happens. Because <laughs> I can't draw for the life of me, so I don't know whether to take... This is... It doesn't matter, does it? I don't know whether to take some stamps so that I've got something to colour in because I can't draw anything to colour in. Anyway, we'll see. Right, now, I wonder if I should put something behind there to lift it up to lean on. That's better. Put your ink pad in between when you've got a new book. It doesn't matter if it doesn't all turn out. 
because it's messy, messy me. I keep telling myself it doesn't matter if you don't get a crisp image because it's just a background and that's perfect. Ooh. <laughs> right, and so that's the craftiness represented for happy and this is music let's see which way round that's fine we'll overlap it a bit I think right okay I need the ink <laughs> where did my ink go it's under there So it would seem that Glasgow is the the film industry capital. <laughs> all of a sudden, well, not all of a sudden, they've been doing it for a while now, I suppose. Um, about here. Why not? I'm not caring that I'm making a little bit of a mark on this page because it'll it's messy and it'll get covered up with the next prompt. Some musical notes and a bit of a, a bit of a guitar going on. Right, so let's see how our bits look now. Hubby's in that, in that, in that house, chopping carrots and making soup and. I think it needs some something else in the background. I think maybe we'll put some washi or something. I think we'll get this stuck down for sure just now. And um, and then we'll see what we can do, what else we can add to the background, I think. Because it's been stamped on the vintage paper, it's quite fine and so it, it kind of feels like it merges a wee bit into the page. Because, whoops. Oh God, a wee tear there, see? The vintage paper is very fine. Covering up what those scissors, handles of those scissors, but it doesn't matter. I know it's there. Right, let's be careful putting the glue on this little creature. Now let's see what else we can do with this background. I feel that I should be adding a little bit more of this. I think we'll use the small. Here's the stamp. See it? I think it's here. We'll just stamp musical notes. Have we got play the moments? Let's go for the big long one. Ooh, nearly.
Yeah, that's better. Adds a little bit of something. Let's put this back in here before, before I lose them. Right, and if they're small ones on the crafty one. Sewing machine. And a little thimble there with and pins. What about the I think maybe this we'll maybe just do a part of it. Maybe just we'll see what it's like when it's inked up. Do this end. Sure, actually, I don't want to just cover it in black. And that didn't work. Let's try some. I keep looking for my ink pad. I obviously didn't press hard enough and didn't. Give it enough time to soak through. That's better. I think some washi would lift the edges. It all looks starting to look a little bit dull here. And I'm thinking... about the butterflies because that you always use butterflies in your craftiness well I do not always but here's a black one this one right let's try see what this might be like I like the white Right, let's give a bit of the white a go. Yes, this is better. Washi tape to the rescue. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's better. Now I wonder if we're wanting a little slither up the side there. Maybe too tiny a sliver. Yeah, that just looks silly. That's too small. Maybe we'll leave it there actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. to look at it for a wee minute. What do 
don't you think? I think it's messy enough. And this is happy. So, home, fur baby, hubby in there. <laughs> in the kitchen, making the dinner. Music and craftiness. Yeah. I think that's, I think that fits the, fits the bill. Okay then, so I'm going to leave it there and I'll, um, yeah, thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.